Hello boys and girls. Um, as you can see, this is the next project. Um, I've just finished this one here. Uh, here we go. This is the Gecko famous Katie. As stood next to by the Queen. Absolutely brilliant bit of kit, but took me ages. Really fiddly. Um, and what I did was, while I was, well, before I even started doing that one, I pre-ordered this one, which is the early version of the other, of the Gecko <coughs> kit. Um, this one I'm going to do in a civilian volunteer UK based uh, version. Um, but I'm going to leave that for a little while because I don't fancy doing another long drawn out because it's basically the same as the, the famous Katie. So I'm going to leave that. And from what I've seen elsewhere on the YouTubes, this, which I also pre-ordered back in the summer, but haven't really done, I haven't even looked at it yet. Um, by all accounts, it's a simpler build. And the plan is rather than do it in the same kind of scheme or one of the versions that's on here. So that's the same as the, the one I've just built in Gecko version. That one I think is probably like the Ice Cold in Alex version. This one from North Africa or this one from Northwest Europe. Lovely, but what I'm going to go for is an RAF version. So in the familiar RAF blue colour. I should be able to just sort of manipulate the decals a little bit. I might have to try and find some like there's a roundel, I might have to find one out of another kit. Serial numbers and things, I might have to cut them up and swap them around a bit. But I'll worry about that later. Um, so yeah, all I've, I'm, I'm seeing this for the first time, really. Um, all I've done is take this out of the frame, out, out of the bag, rather. So clear parts first. Probably doesn't show up very well. But they look nice and clear. No scratches or anything. Looks like the, it's either a scratch or the windscreen wipers molded into the screen there by the look of it. Um, but yeah, all looks nice. Yeah, this one I just took out of the bag, but I haven't even looked at it yet. So let's have a look round. Uh, so the wheels are left and right, sort of two piece assemblies fair enough um that's a solid piece whereas on the gecko you've got photo etch goes in there um this is basically the only bit of engine you get on the airfix version and i mean it took a, like a week to build the the gecko one <laughs> and if you have the bonnet shut you don't even see it so yeah it'd be a welcome change to have far fewer parts to play with um but this is looking really nice actually i mean just because it's simpler doesn't mean it's less detailed it's just um like i say far fewer parts to play with which is what i want so yeah these are the side um, walls, walls, yeah. I mean, it's that's solid, that's solid, that's a separate piece on the gecko. Excuse me, just had a cup of burping. Um, yeah, they've just made it a simpler kit. That's brilliant. You know, some people I saw were kind of moaning because they're a similar sort of price. It's about five or ten pound cheaper for this over the gecko um people saying oh you know the gecko's a lot more value for money and yeah i mean it depends what you want doesn't it if you want a, a lot of detail and a lot of parts get the gecko um but if you want a kit that's gonna come up pretty similar but a lot quicker and easier then uh this is the one to get, I think. 
It's all looking really nice though. There's no flush on it anywhere, which is what you'd expect nowadays from Airfix, isn't it? They've upped their game in the last few years, certainly since I was a lad. But uh, yeah, I mean, you've still got the floorboard detail there. That's nice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. <clears throat> and one thing that stumped me on the gecko is I'm not used to doing photo etching. There'll be loads of it. And again, a lot of it you can't see. So, I mean, things like these, this sort of cross bracing stuff here, that's all metal. But uh, here it's a very nicely moulded bit. So, uh, yeah, no complaints. Uh, one little thing that might prove a bit awkward. On here, the, the air vents are moulded in. So when it comes to putting the decals on, that might prove to be a bit, a bit fiddly. Let's have a look at the decal sheet. Here we go. So this will be the one that goes on the roof. It's got cutouts to go around it, which, you know, it's going to be a bit fiddly. Um, whereas on the gecko one they're separate so ignore the instructions on the gecko put the decal on first then put the vents on much easier but we shall see that might work all right hmm anyway that's that's for a later date but yeah nicely made so uh we shall see how it all fits together what else we got in here i know there's a bit of photo it somewhere I mean, just that, the bonnet on the gecko. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight parts to put together on the gecko. Yeah, it's one bit there, job done. Oh, there's the photo etch, there it is. Oh, that's easy. So, so that's a part for the, the little round plate that goes on the front. Um, that would be, I should imagine, where the red crosses go front and back. Don't know what they are. I haven't looked at the instructions yet. So a quick look at the instructions. Nice and simple, straightforward stuff. Look, like Bosch. That's the engine bit, done. One piece, there you go. Who needs any more? Nice. Nice to say, really. It's all looking good. I can see similarities with this and the, the gecko, but like I say, far fewer parts. And uh, again, from what I've seen other people on YouTube do, they've come up with some cracking finished items out of this kit. So, uh, yeah, not going to say it's better or worse, just a different kit. And it depends on what you want to make. Yeah, far fewer stages. You've still got some options. I mean, on the Gecko, it can be done, but it doesn't say in the instructions that you can have a step down or up. Whereas on this one it does. Nice. Yeah, I'm liking the look of this. Yeah, some of the folk wretch bits there for that little, I don't know what you call it, little plate thing and has a number go on it. Um, still got options for different types of headlight and then the colour call outs. One little criticism of the Gecko version was that their colours were a bit vague and in some cases completely wrong. I mean, they had on, <clears throat> on one of the, the schemes, it should have been this colour, so I mean, they're calling it. Um, 
I don't know how you pronounce that. The dark green. But they showed it on the box as being dark green, but described it and then had the actual picture like this in brown. I was like, well, that's a bit wrong. Um, but anyway, enough moaning about the gecko one. Interesting colour schemes. Hmm. Nice. Uh, anything else in the box? No, that's it. Yeah, nice. Nice and simple. And I'm going to get started with that tonight. Okay, I shall uh, see you later. Bye.